Scenes from McLaughlin Parade Field and the September 11th Remembrance Run. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More from 9-11 in just a moment. Also this week, September is Suicide Prevention Month. Kimbrough tackles preventable injuries and a look at the upcoming transition assistance schedule. These stories and more, but first, Fort Meade observed the 18th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks with an installation run this week. More than 1,200 service members and civilians met on McLaughlin Parade Field for the run. And afterwards, a brief ceremony featured guest speaker Navy Cryptologic Warfare Group 6, Command Master Chief Alan Keller. Keller, a native New Yorker, lost two friends in the attacks, members of the New York Police and Fire Departments. I ask each of you to remember not only the 2,996 lives that were lost on 9-11, but as of today, the more than 7,000 military and DOD civilians that we have lost since the war on terrorism began. We must never forget that we are the land of the free because of the brave. Who ya team me? The Fort Meade Fire Department closed the observance with the traditional ringing of the bell. And so to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow Americans, their task now completed, their duties well done, to our fallen comrades, their last alarm, they are going home. Another new September is National Suicide Prevention Month. I'd like to highlight a couple of events coming up later this month. Earlier in September, the Defense Suicide Prevention Office kicked off the month with a reminder, small steps save lives. Locally, the Fort Meade Substance Abuse Prevention Office is presenting a dramatic stage performance, Small Steps Save Lives, on Wednesday, September 25th from 9 to 1030 at the Post Theater. The performance is based on a true story of a real suicide crisis. Performance is open to the entire community. You can reserve a seat by calling 301-677-6541. Meanwhile, in a related story, you can show your support during Suicide Prevention Month by joining the Navy Cryptologic Warfare Group 6 and the Fleet and Family Sports Center for an Illuminate the Darkness event. The Walk to Remember at Mullins Field lasts throughout the night, starting on 6 p.m. Saturday, September 28th, and ending at 7 a.m. the next day. Once again, the entire community is invited to participate you can contact the Fleet and Family Sports Center for more information. Meanwhile, Fort Meade held the first Illuminate the Darkness Walk several years ago. Meade TV spoke with some participants that made it through the night. Once, yeah. you, once you get past like the 3 a.m. exhaustion, it's much better. After you spend nine yeah. and a half hours out here, it just, it just kind of yeah. passes. It all blends together. <laughs> once your body accepts the fact that, oh, sleep isn't a thing today, okay. <laughs> Once again, the Illuminate the Darkness Walk to Remember is September 28th and 29th at Mullins Field. In other news, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center conducted a symposium this week for the installation's master fitness trainers focused on human movement or functional movement screening. The screening is a tool to identify risk factors for musculoskeletal injury. The class is an initial effort to reduce the percentage of soldiers on physical profile for more than 90 days. According to Kimbrough, Fort Meade's percentage is the highest in the Army. To fight this, a more proactive approach was needed. I'm confident that if I just stay in my office and do nothing but patient care, I'm not going to um, be able to affect any change on that musculoskeletal rate. And um, so I decided to, to, well, let's try something different, and that is to reach out to, to those folks that have some extra training from a, a physical fitness perspective, our master fitness trainers, and teach them how to assess um, human movement. Major Skinner says the goal is to get everyone involved talking the same language. We can then start to ideally identify those modifiable risk factors that would predispose someone to musculoskeletal injury, identify that before the point of injury, and, and um, intervene. Uh, give those soldiers that don't move well some corrective exercises to try to, to modify those modifiable risk factors. Finally this week a couple of reminders from the Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program. Seminars coming up include starting a business franchise on September 30th, applying for a federal job on October 3rd, and the next employer day is October 10th. On employer day make sure your resumes are ready and dress for success. Military uniforms are appropriate. For more information on the Transition Assistance Program and to register for any of these seminars, call 301-677-9871. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.